All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are continuing our weed sector review, looking at CGC and Cron. Look, I hope the technical stuff that I'm about to talk about is jumping out to you already, right? But I haven't looked at these stocks in too, too long. CGC doesn't look that exciting here. Actually looks a lot more worrisome than it does look exciting. But Cron has a couple interesting things going on that we'll talk about quickly after this chart. But before we go any deeper on the technicals real quick, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. But hey, even if you don't, just thank you so much for watching these, all right? There's plenty of better things you can be doing, but hey, ideally this is actually something better in your book as well, so. And then look, I am not perfect, I am not all-knowing, I have no crystal ball telling me what Monday is going to look like. So, hey, if you disagree with any of my opinions, just throw them in the comments, all right? I'm not here to hate or anything like that. So, let's get going. And again, there's not too, too much to talk about here. However, I really want to stress good things happen over the eight, better things happen when you get over the eight and the 20. But then just really quickly, once you fall under them, obviously really bad things happen, right? And yeah, the goal more than anything is to, to ride these as best as you can and just literally jump out when the technicals say it, right? That That is how I move my money. That's that's swing trading 101, right? So um, yeah, look, there's, there's simply put, not a lot to talk about here, but I am gonna talk more on the weekly than the daily, all right? What I don't like is is just look at this right like these lines look like they want to keep going down and that's such a bad thing on the weekly because it literally is five times slower than the daily so by the time these kind of start to correct you're you're hurting for at least a number a number of days right so i hate how bad it looks that all three lines want to keep going down that's super super scary and look just zooming out we're obviously not at all time lows yet but i've talked about it, right this green 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 has me super super worried when we lose this and we've lost it right we lost it last week and that's a hard confirmation on this weekly it really seems like we're going down to 159 and hopefully not much worse than that but yeah on the daily i'm seeing us just go further and further away from the eight we're making these little attempts where we try to hit it but fail try to hit it but fail try to hit it but fail right and just going lower and lower as the lines want to keep going down and down and honestly at this point my horizontal supports have literally just started lining up with these moving averages up here right so um yeah there's there's not too much to talk about i'm not here to like hate on a stock i'm not here to like bash a stock but more than anything use these lines to help you right there are clearly reasons to get in when we're over the lines but as long as we stay under them it's it's really hard to believe we'll do anything else until until we really see the proof all right so just be careful here um, turning to Cron, again, Cron has a couple interesting things going on and more than anything, look, we obviously are still struggling with the eight. However, we're now getting a little closer to both the eight and the 20, okay? So ideally the way that things work, and look, you've, you could see it, it's failed before, but you should go down horizontal then up. All right, clearly down horizontal and down is very, very realistic, but you can't really go up until this horizontal happens, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to watch this here. I am, I want to know what happens with this horizontal. Are we just gonna keep going horizontal for a couple of weeks? Are we actually gonna creep up? Like what's gonna happen, right? Just kind of seeing, really, there's a lot of similarities between where we were last time and where this was. Maybe you can say buying's a little better here than it is here, right? There's a lot more strings of red in between the buys. Here, I'm actually seeing a lot more greens in between the red. So maybe this horizontal has a little bit better you know, chances of going up than this clearly going down, right? But again, one more time, you cannot start going up until you really like horizontal plateau the, 
the downtrend. And look, you know I don't like horizontal clusters. I'll live with two, but as you start getting into clusters of three, four, and five, that's where I'm very much, you know, I'm uh, not a happy camper. But yeah, the goal would be get over the 20 and hopefully we work our way up to this um, red 50 moving average, right? Not a very, very clean red, 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 red. However, it, it, there's not that many plateaus and like this is probably the strongest plateau after you know that that 20 moving average breaks right so that's not that bad a move from roughly two to like 220 right that's a little more than 20 percent right there but um it's not going to be easy getting over the 20 you can see we've literally been struggling with it i mean that's as horizontal as it gets and then again we keep going back right so it's been a minute since we've broken the cron line man as i look there's definitely a good reason i'm going to delete hold on let me zoom out real quick just to see where we're, yeah, we're gonna delete all these lines and make some new ones. Yeah, 13 here, Jesus. All right, let's 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 take a look at a couple things. First off, I'm gonna draw a couple here just to understand where we are in terms of all-time lows. Okay, I don't like that we've lost that, that's not good. I'll go ahead and where are we with that? I mean, we're almost there and then, yeah, it's pretty much to down down there, right? Again, just ballparking. We're not looking for perfection because I'm telling you, being close enough over a long period of time is going to do some nasty things to your bank account, okay? Um, I'm going to go on the weekly, I think, for the next charts. I mean, for the next lines, but roughly speaking, we're drawing something around there if I had to guess. Yeah, look at that. That's going to put us in the plateau. That puts us over the lines. I think what I'm going to look at is probably this, this one right here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Yeah, there's a few things that happen right there. I'm happy with that guy. Cool. We hit the bottom of that guy. That's kind of it, actually. Kind of hit the doji right there. Yeah, I'm okay. Look, again, we're not here for perfection. I think as we get closer to this, we'll adjust it if needed. But look, end of the day, why is this 213 here? Was that from the... Oh, yeah, that's from that back there. Okay. Um for me, nothing, I, I really would not touch this stock, I think here, I think, yeah, and that's just over the 20. I probably would not set an alert until 214. That's probably the lowest, no, wait, 196, I'm so sorry. 196 is probably the first alert I would set. I think the safer trade, what's this guy right here? 196 again, yeah, 196 is probably a really important number actually. You know what? I'm going to draw a 196. I'll, I'll do a 197. Let me know if we get a penny over 197. Um, I think from there, if two bucks doesn't stop it, it really might run to that 213, 219. And I, I yeah, I'll take that alert, actually. I'm interested in that. Um, again, though, one more time, don't let it fool you. That breaks it. That's not good confirmation. That actually is. Does it crack that line? It doesn't right so you not only need to break it you gotta break that like big candle over right so just like this really is an important line this 202 and you know what now that i said that now that i saw that that stop right there happened i'm gonna draw this and i'm gonna delete this i think that's the move we want to do because i don't care about that weekly chart drawing i want to do it off the daily um, again, 196 is an important line. I set my alert to 197. It might not be easy breaking 202 because again, that big day that broke the 20 couldn't get over this 260 line right here, right? So um, this is probably the more important line. That's for sure a decent entry pending your risk reward. But again, both of these stocks have a lot to go before I feel real, real comfortable, okay? So, hey, these are just my opinions. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the time.